Good evening and welcome to Sports Hub. Thank you so much for joining us. It's another great Monday night as we come with another interesting edition of Sports Hub. And tonight I'll be hosting Mr. Mutendere. I'm sure you've heard of uh, Mr. Matero, Mr. Kanyama and Mr. Zambia. But today we'll talk to Mr. Mutendere and we'll also talk to the chairman to find out how uh, they've been mobilizing bodybuilders in Mutendere and how they plan to go forward. Remember, this is the Chipolo Polo week on Friday, Chipolo Polo beat Congo Brazzaville in the first match of the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers uh, to put themselves on top of Group E. Remember, Morocco did not play because they were supposed to play Eritrea, but Eritrea have withdrawn. So uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, at 21 hours, they'll be playing Niger in Morocco. So that game, we are showing it on ZNBC TV1. Make sure you watch. We start with the match build up at 20 hours. So that is what we have today on the program. But we have many segments on the show. And what's trending in sports? We have Esther Mwale, Hon FM uh, sports anchor. And she's here. Esther, how are you doing? I'm good, Morden. How are you? I'm very well, thanks. How has been your weekend? My weekend was fantastic. I don't know about you. I mean, obviously, I must guess to say we both had an awesome weekend. I mean, who had a bad weekend coming from that awesome victory by the Pro Boys of Zambia? Eh? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It was a, um, an awesome weekend and busy at the same time, mm -hmm. covering National Division One League plus uh, the World Cup qualifier, so it was a very busy weekend. Yeah. What do we have in sports? Well, what we have in sports more than is, of course, the man himself of the moment, Pat Sadaka, who has been making headlines with this, you know, summer suit. So apparently some soccer fans had, you know, gone on Facebook to just, you know, issue their concerns with uh, Pat Sadaka's goal celebration. So a lot of people, you know, raise complaints to say, no, they get to skip a bit every time Pat Sadaka gets to, you know, celebrate in such kind of a style that they want him to be fit, they want him to be, you know, to be free from injury. So they're afraid to say every time he gets to do these summer suits, he will be, you know, they're, they're scared that he might land in a way that will get to injure him. So a lot of uh, soccer fans have expressed concern and they want Patson Daka to remain as fit as possible. And talking about Patson Daka, ladies and gentlemen, he has joined the top scorer. He has um, become the 10th Zambian top scorer with um, 17 goals. He has four goals behind breaking Christopher Katongo's record and he is 62 goals behind breaking uh, Godfrey Ukachitalu's uh, goals. So Pat Sundaka, it's just all about, you know, determination and obviously I must really, really, really get to confirm that one day he'll get there. But what you have to know right now is that in this game against Congo Brazil, Pat Sundaka did not just get to score, but he had to make history for himself. I mean, Pat Sundaka is all about making history and yeah, he did become the 10th top scorer yes joining the likes of Kalusha Bwalia uh, James Chamanga Christopher Katongo and Godfrey Uka uh, Chitalu so we are indeed looking forward to see what Pat Sudaka is going to show us in the next games remaining so as for now everybody is mm. all and excited how many goals are remaining before he catches up with you <laughs> <laughs> well 62 goals <laughs> to go um, I could say. I could say. Uh, I could say guys and four <laughs> goals to go for him to get to catch uh, Christopher Katongo's record but yeah Pat Sudaka is a de determined person so obviously he's going to get that but anyway moving on Moden there is another photo that has been training remember when i came back i think that was during the afcon qualifiers we had this photo these people actually you know trending they met you know they had gone to the hero stadium with pots cheering for the chipotle polo boys of zambia but you know what was so interesting about these uh, people here in this photo is that the game was moved to Levi Mwasa Stadium, mm. but that did not stop them. So to it was join. actually Levi Mwasa Stadium. Yes, so this mm. was Levi Mwasa Stadium. Mm. Yes, so this is a different photo. Don't think it's the same photo that we had come with ah, uh, okay. last weekend. Is it okay. last weekend? Last month, rather. Mm. So this is a different photo. This was at Levi Mwasa Stadium on the Copa Belt. So as you can see, this this is husband and wife, Nika Boy. Ah, okay. Wasende mpoto apa ne minko. Wakonka all the way to the left monster stadium to go and cheer for the Polo Polo Boys of the But this, this is a Lusaka-based couple in Kawata. Hmm. Yes, and uh, yeah, 
in as much as the match was being played at the Living Monster Stadium, it did not stop them to go and support the Chipolopolo boys of Zambia, husband and wife, right? So, so what were you, they doing with the pots? They she were cheering up. Oh, that is obvious. They were cheering for the Chipolopolo boys. They were so they turned the pot into a drum. Yes, they <laughs> turned the pot into a drum. So after that, Moden, the food possession of Zambia had spotted this couple. Like, mm -mm. These people have always been there for the Chipolo Polo boys, be it at Hero Stadium, be it at Living Monster Stadium. In fact, wow, going to Living Monster Stadium. So, the uh, football station of Zambia had tried everything possible to, you know, locate this couple of Lusaka. And finally, um, yeah, they were issued, you know, they were out, yeah, given out some free jerseys, some free Copa jerseys and free tickets so they'll be watching the Chipolo Polo boys every match that they'll be playing in the country awesome. just to be able to you know have that support in the stadium i mean just <laughs> and the <imagine>. pots again football house it's important, yes, to be all the way from Lusaka, or it's, uh, I mean, it's a copper belt. We get to move around with the sports and the cooking sticks. So, yeah, the Football City of Zambia has given them free jerseys and free tickets to all the, exam to all the games that the Polo Boys of Zambia will be having at home. I mean, that is just awesome. We need such kind of support. We need such kind of motivation. No, it is the same motivation that gets to encourage the players to work hard. Because if they get to see, you know, each one, such a panga I mean, they will want to fight and give you the results that you all want to have. At the end of the day, having a smiley face as Soka fans of Zambia. So yeah, it is indeed a great initiative by this couple of Lusaka and it is also a great move by the food position of Zambia to be able to identify and just be able to appreciate them for the, uh, you know, for the massive support that they've been given the Shukuro boys of Zambia. Ben, we're moving on Moden to something that is um, indeed sad. So with less than seven days to go to the 2023 Netball Africa Cup, so the netball, there's a possibility that we'll not be seeing the netball team at the Netball Africa Cup because uh, of finances. So Zambia was about, so as things stand right now, we don't know their stance, so I'm going to use this term, was about to send two teams to the 2023 Netball Africa Tournament. The netball, the, the women's netball team and of course the men's netball team. And for the first time in the history of the uh, Zambia netball tournament, we'll be sending, you know, men's netball to go and represent us. I know the people are saying, I'm going to netball. <laughs> yes. yes, things are changing. It's things are changing. Gender. <laughs> <laughs> so I know my name shuts up, but I'm not at the netball. Yes, I'm here to answer you that question. Yes, all of I'm not at the netball. And um, we have seven days to go, as you can see there in um, on your TV screens there, the men's netball team also gearing up for the 2023, uh, you know, Netball Africa Cup. So they are lacking, and as far as uh, you know, finan uh, financial. They're lacking financially, so they were appealing out there to well wishes to come on board, just be able to help them. Because if they don't get to participate, they stand a chance of actually getting to to pay a lot of money. They stand a chance, yeah, they, they stand a chance to be fined a lot of money. So I think it would just be good. Okay, five thousand pounds. Yeah, five thousand pounds. That's a pounds. lot of That's money. That's a lot of money. There's a chance to be, uh, you know, to be fined five thousand pounds, which is actually a lot of money compared to the amount of money that they're going to spend for them just to go for the tournament and fulfill the fixtures. So I, I will say, you know, if there are any world wishes, you know, out there, just to come on board and just to help out the netball teams for them to be able to participate and yes, uh, you know, get to represent us. I mean, and netball, how much is the short for Esther? Sorry. How much is the short for? The short for should be, is it a 30? 234,000 Yeah, 234,000 And that should be small money. We have a lot of businesses here in this country that can come on board to support. I know, right? So we're just hoping that within the, you know, seven days that is remaining, we're hoping that something can be able to, to be done so that the team can finally be able to go out there and fulfill the fixes. I mean, this team... This team is a team that you know has been able to face a lot of teams. There is, it is a team that has you know locked horns. They ripped the rip bronze locked. in Australia this year. Yes, we, we are. We <laughs> had to come back with the uh, bronze from Australia, which was not easy. But um, yeah, if you want to continue winning like that, we need to help them forward. 
yeah, for them to be able to travel and just be able to be part of the 2023 Netball Africa Cup. Yeah. Mm. Ben, we're moving on, going beyond our borders. <laughs> it's not Netball, Esther. <laughs> <laughs> is that netball? So I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see on your TV screens now, I'm talking about soccer, European Championship qualifications. <laughs> ah. Wow! I will say it was a Kylian Mbappe and Giroud show, if you were to ask me. So over the weekend, we had France hosting Gibraltar, and it was France beating Gibraltar by 14 goals to nil. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we don't nah, know if it was so. volleyball but that was, was like that was taking place here we don't know what really happened but the thing is Kylian Mbappe was the man of the moment yet again like always for France I don't know what we have to say about Kylian Mbappe it, modern imagine being involved yeah in 14 goals and Kylian Mbappe had three goals three assists in this game He's a great man. He's only 24 and the future is bright. I'm telling you, the future is indeed bright for France. Mm. This is why I now get to understand why PSG failed to release Mbappe. Because Mbappe is, I don't know, top notch. He, <laughs> I don't really have words to explain, I mean to describe Mbappe. Mbappe is definitely another human being, guys. 14 goals, 6 invo goal involvements, 3 assists three goals for Kylian Mbappe. And France ended up beating Gribata by 14 goals to nil. And I don't even know why France had to, you know, beat uh, their opponents by such a goal margin because France have already qualified. <laughs> now I don't know why they were doing this. I don't no. know. No. Should we say they were being mean for no reason? <laughs> oh, please, Ufu, can you please explain for me? <laughs> Do you think they were being mean for no reason? Because they've already qualified. <laughs> wow, they wanted to prove the point oh. that they are supposed to be World Cup champions. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad for Gibraltar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah. anyway, we move on. Ah, I hope our team will never experience such a loss because that was a big goal margin. I, I feel for the fans, trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so moving on to Belgium. Ladies and gentlemen, well, Romain Lukaku yesterday had uh, broken the record, beaten or the surpassing the numbers of uh, our legend, our Zambian soccer legend, the greatest of all time. There's, of course, Godfrey Ukachtelu. So, Godfrey Ukachtelu currently, yeah, sits on 79 goals, but uh, we'll say Romain Lukaku, you know, surpassed him yesterday, scoring four goals and later tallying to his goals. Um, it should be 80, 89 now. So, 89 for the country? Yes, for, for mm. the country. Beating the greatest that we have in Africa, of mm. course, Godfrey Ukachtan. But he'll never beat his record of scoring 107 <laughs> goals in uh, one season. I mean, I mean it's, it's still breaking, so we're, we're, we're waiting to see what is going to happen. He already has broken, you know, a record. Not even Messi managed to break it. <laughs> We're waiting for it. That was she. I want to tell you that I have some energy already. You can see the likes of Kylian Mbappe there. That is second day, no guys. What mm. more? So currently, mm. Romelu Lukaku has managed. Someone is asking, and what about Holland? <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to say about Holland? Well, Holland and Norway um, will not be taking part in the 2024 Euro Championships. Unfortunately, they couldn't qualify. Yes. Mm. And nice. Haaland was not even in the game at the moment that, you know, his team was failing to, to qualify for the Euros. But anyway, yeah, Romelu Lukaku sits on, uh, yeah, 89 goals, beating the likes of uh, our greatest, our GOATs. That's one thing I can say, Godfrey Uka uh, Chitalu. But anyway, he still remains the greatest of all time. I mean, as much as Lukaku can be able to beat, surpass his numbers, but hey, come on. <laughs> all right, so moving on to our final story, Modern. So last week, I came here talking about Louis Diaz's parents being kidnapped. So as you can see in this photo, this is Louis Diaz's mother and father. So apparently, police in Colombia managed to... Um, rescue the parents of Louis Diaz, and it was really amazing. I don't know if I don't know if I should say Angel Gabriel came down to to be I don't know to be with Louis Diaz because the parents were in the stadium 
you know, watching Luis Diaz play for Colombia against Brazil and as far as the World Cup qualifiers are concerned. And it was Luis Diaz that came to the rescue of Colombia to beat Brazil. And as you can see there in the photos, Luis Diaz was, you know, in tears. I couldn't believe that he was making headlines yet again for not losing his parents, but rather for helping his team, you know, beat Brazil in as far as the World Cup qualifiers are concerned. So this, this is indeed a very special gesture. I mean, more than being in Luis Diaz's shoes, you lose your parents. They, they get kidnapped. I mean, you are in England right there, and then you are away from them. You don't know how they are doing. And then police get to, you know, help you. You rescue your parents. And then you come back, score goals, two goals for that matter, in front of your parents. How would you feel? Oh, that feels... So it's, it's an emotional moment. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so this is what I had for you today, Morning, as far as what is trending and football. Thank you very much, Esther. Looking forward to more next week. All right, I'll be here. <laughs> right. Uh, so that's uh, Esther Mwale uh, giving us details in terms of uh, what's trending in uh, sports. Right, we move on to the next segment. And this one is how much you, do you know about your sportsmen and women? Last week, um, I was just giving you random questions because I wanted you to win some tickets. And uh, two people won the tickets to Levi Mwanasa Stadium. And this is Tony Chifumbe of Ndola, as well as Zinya Muyongo of Kitwe. So at least they didn't answer the questions I asked them entirely, but at least I gave them uh, the tickets because at least they tried. So today I'm asking you to identify a photo of uh, this sportsman. Who is this legend of Zambian football? If you know the person, just call 0211 25 30 25, 0211 25 30 25, or you can send a WhatsApp message on 0955 20 29 or you go to Facebook and send a message to Modern Singular Sports or Sports Hub Facebook page. Who is that Zambian sportsman on your screen? I'll be so glad to hear from you. Right, so make sure you prepare your phones. They should, uh, the phone should start buzzing. Let's uh, look at what happened in the past week in terms of results. We start with the 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifiers. On Wednesday, it was Rwanda, new, Zimbabwe, new, Equatorial Guinea, one, Namibia, new, Congo, DR, two, Mauritania, new, Ethiopia, new, Sierra Leone, new. On Thursday, it was Burundi, three, Gambia, two, Botswana, two, Mozambique, three, Djibouti, new, Egypt, six, Sudan, one, Togo, one, Nigeria, one, Lesotho, one. This was a shocking result at home. Nigeria failing to beat Lesotho. Gabon, two, Kenya, one, Algeria, three, Somalia, one, Kebed, new, Angola, new. Then the game between Morocco and Eritrea was cancelled because Eritrea have withdrawn from the race. On Friday, it was the Swatini, new, Libya, one, Guinea, two, Uganda, one, Comoros, four, Central African Republic, two, then Zambia, four, Congo, Brazzaville, two. Uh, this is a game where Patson Daka scored a brace, Lamek Banda, one goal, and Fashion Sakala, one goal. Ghana, one, Madagascar, new, Burkina Faso, one, Guinea Bissau, one, Cameroon, three, Mauritius, new, Cote d'Ivoire, nine, Seychelles, new. This was another cricket scoreline. Tunisia, four, Sao Tome and Principe, new. Mali, three, Chad, one. On Saturday, it was South Africa, two, Benin, one. Niger, new. Tanzania, one. Then Senegal, four, South Sudan, new. On Sunday, it was Zimbabwe, one, Nigeria, one. Nigeria continuing on the drawing note. Burundi, one. Gabon, two. Mozambique, new. Algeria, two. Sierra Leone, new. Egypt, two. Sudan, one. Congo, DR, new. On Monday, Today, so the games that have been completed so far is Djibouti, new, Guinea-Bissau, one, Gambia, new, Cote d'Ivoire, two, Liberia, new, Equatorial Guinea, one, and then the game between Eritrea and Congo cancelled. So, right now, as I'm talking, the games have kicked off. Seychelles taking on Kenya, Chad versus Madagascar, and Mali taking on Central African Republic. All these have kicked off at 21 hours. Then tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll see Lesotho taking on Benin at 15 hours. Rwanda versus South Africa 
at 15 hours, Eswatini versus Cape Verde at 15 hours, Somalia versus Uganda 15 hours, Botswana versus Guinea 15 hours, Malawi versus Tunisia 15 hours, South Sudan versus Mauritania 18 hours, Togo versus Senegal 18 hours, Mauritius versus Angola 18 hours, Libya versus Cameroon 18 hours, Sao Tome and Principe versus Namibia 18 hours, Comoros versus Ghana 18 hours, Ethiopia versus Burkina Faso 21 hours, Tanzania versus Morocco 21 hours, Niger versus Zambia 21 hours. So this is the game that we are scheduled to show on ZNBC TV 1 tomorrow 21 hours, but we start our match build up at 20 hours. From uh, the World Cup, we go to the uh, ZPL National Division 1, Week 12 results. On Saturday, it was the National Assembly 1, Kafue Eagles 0, Young Green Buffaloes 0, Chambishi 1, Kito United 2, Zesco Malaiti Rangers 0, Nchanga Rangers 1, Indeni 0. So Nchanga Rangers uh, continue being on top of uh, the National Division 1. Mpolongo Youth 0, Atletico Lusaka 0. Young Prison Leopards nil, City of Lusaka won. On, uh, yes, so these are the results uh, so far from uh, uh, the Zambia Premier League National Division 1. We go to the Women's Super Division Week 9 results. It was Elite Ladies 4, Queen Sports Academy nil. So Madam Pepa scoring two goals. Salia Mwanza one goal and Elizabeth Mopeso one goal. National Assembly women new, Green Buffaloes women two, Lucia Mwemba scoring and Esther Banda also scoring. So Lucia Mwemba is coming from an injury and uh, she scored after uh, appearing, after coming back from injury. Zanako ladies four, Yasa Queens new. This was a shocking result where Marjorie Luwaya scored a brace, Esther uh, scored one goal and Messi, Mwe, Messi, Messi Mwenya scored one goal. Red Arrows women one, ZISD women two. I don't know what is happening to Red Arrows. I'm sure it's because of the um, the main players that are undergoing training. Um, we are talking about um, Mary Wilombe. We are talking about Ochumba Oseke. All those Margaret Belemu are uh, undergoing training. And then uh, Police, Dove Queens 2, Chipata Girls new, Indiana Roses 3, Trident Queens 1. So Indiana Roses are on top now. Zeskondola Girls 3, Nkwazi Queens new, Kawa Celtic Queens 1, Luanda Foundation 2, and uh, Kamfinsa Blue Eagles new, Green Eagles Women 1. So that's what happened in terms of uh, results. So we'll keep on updating you on uh, what will be coming up next. So for now, we go to a song dedicated to the Chipolopolo as they take on Niger tomorrow. So for now, it's a song done by various artists and this one is titled Bola Nalesa. Jazzy boy,
various artists there are saying ball analyzer we need ball analyzer tomorrow Niger must fall this is the World Cup we are talking about. Zambia has never qualified to the World Cup. Since independence, Zambia is 59 years old now. And the senior national football team, men's football team, has never been to the World Cup. Only the women's team, the women's senior team, the women's under 17, and the men's under 20 have been to the World Cup. So we are rooting for the Chipolo Polo tomorrow against Niger. So just an update on the games that are being played uh, currently. So it's Seychelles, new. Uh, Kenya 2, Michael Lunga scoring a brace, then uh, Chad New, Madagascar 1, then Mali New, Central African Republic New. So this is an update for the three games that are being played so far. Time for me to welcome my guest in the studio. He is Mr. Mutendere. You've heard of Mr. Kanyama, you've heard of Mr. Matero, you've heard of Mr. Zambia. Now this one is representing the hood of Mutendere and his name is Fred Piri, please help me welcome Fred Piri. He's here with his trophy and a crown. Oh, I didn't know that um, bodybuilders are also given crowns. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, good, good, sir. How are okay, you doing? great, yeah. great, great. Fred Thanks, Piri. Come on up in Nisafu, no. Mama Sos. <laughs> yeah, Mama Sos, yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Then let me also welcome the chairperson for Mutendere Gym. Um, this is the first time I'm hearing of Mutendere Gym. <laughs> He's a chair person. How are you doing? Uh, fine, thank you. How are All you right. Doing? His name is Pamphrey Ngoma. Pamphrey. Not Humphrey, but Pamphrey. <laughs> thank you so much for coming. You can come and uh, join me here so that we can have uh, a chat. Right. Um, but um, Pamphrey, you look bigger than uh, Mr. Mtendere. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you also still, compete in... still keeping fit. No, no, oh, no. I'm the... retired. I'm actually the chairperson, so I'm retired. Oh, you, but you were you used to be a bodybuilder. Before. Exactly. Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. So for starters, uh, we want to know who Fred Peary uh, is. Who are you? When were you born? Where were you born? And how was your childhood like? Oh, my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. First, um, we start with when you were born and where you were born, and how um, you were growing up. Ah, now, now, but we know Mlosa, we know Mlosa, we know Karingalinga Clinic. Ah, but many up. You know, Karinga, talking about Karingalinga mm -hmm. and um, uh, ZNBC, where ZNBC is, they're just neighbors, just a stone throw away. Mm -hmm. Okay, but many up Karingalinga Clinic. Yes, but many up Karingalinga Clinic. Then you are Kola Kwanga. Nakula chi lifestyle is a chi yansi mbi. Yansi mbi si mbi jab? Yeah, because <laughs> uh, number yansi mbi is a 206. Hmm. Ndi pe number kum yansi mbi. Okay. Uh, then after number kum yansi mbi, number zizi zapa nyumba. After that, number kum yansi mbi. Mwamene na kukula kwenze mwamene mkalingalinga? Yeah, kukula kwenze mkalingalinga mwamene. Okay. Then, uh, after number nyamule ya kuku nyumba, number na 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 kushu ground. Mm. Okay, first picking a coco. Hello, good evening, and welcome to Sports Hub. Yes, sir. How are you, Modern? Very well, thanks. How are you? Fine, and you? Very well, thanks. Um, just try to speak up a bit so that I can uh, I can hear you. Um, your your name and where you're calling us from? I'm calling from Gama South. My name is Godfrey Soko. Godfrey Soko, right? Yes. So yes. you want to attempt the question? Yes. Okay, who is this player? Uh, it's Debbie Makinka. Are you Mario sure? Stephen Warriors. Very much sure. Sure, I sure, sure, sure. I used to watch sure. him at Stadium. Mm. <laughs> yes. Okay, t uh, tell us any of the memories that you have about uh, the player you've mentioned. Uh, he, um, I remember him one time uh, they were playing with um, Cabo Warriors at Matelo Stadium. Mm -hmm. So um, Richard Mwanza was in goal and uh, Debbie Makinka had to take a penalty. Before he takes the penalty, uh, Richard Mwanza he was already, uh, he, he dived and he hammered himself the head to the goal post and the, and the <laughs> ball went in the wrong direction. That is the time I remember Debbie Makinka at Matero Stadium. <laughs> ah, okay. Interesting, yes. interesting data that you've given us. 
So, mm -hmm. make sure you, you don't go, just leave us with the details. We also hear from others if um, they are getting it correct or not. Thank you very much for coming through. All right, Soko from uh, Kamwala South. All right, so, uh -huh. so, when the tools are no uh, life yarn in the chair and simbi simbi. So, Munapanga to simbi panyumba to Tonyamu. Hey, Napana Panga simbi. Uh -huh. Mawit. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Then you know, I'm watch it and go. Ah, and by that time, we are. Majim, yes, 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 manning. You wonder so. There's a choker, Kunyumba, Quagading, adding. Then do you rock your ground? TNT, Jata, and we just TNT, but yes, TNT. It's good. TNT, Moses, TNT, number Moses, my pet. Moses, my poem. Mm. Nine out TNT, my twin zero eight. Mm. Twin zero eight, twin zero nine, Mabwa, Vanika, Kona, competition, he is a guest poser, Mr. TNT. That is twin zero nine. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Kuchoka ya jatai mweja. Then hindi mwena ya mbila bodybuilding. Okay, interesting. Hey. So kuliko mtu wana kuchitani inspire, uh, any particular person who inspired you and say, I want to be like this one. Eh, hey. mm. heze ku, heze anko wanga. Heze onyamuli yako panyo mba pepa aja. Mm -hmm. So after that, we have wana baba guli za nsimbeza o then, na bache, na sakila zanga, na mbu panga chitu wa mene tungon, tuma hey. witsi. Ah, mm. Okay. So inspire, inspire. We even do another child inspire. What did I need? Yambe kunyamulako. Hmm. All right. Yeah. So um, kuliwe na nguvu na mbwa kunyamulansimbi, because eh, banawa ya mbwa by certain people somewhere. Yeah, so na njenga na muzi mukuti, so that they can revenge. <laughs> For you, how did you start? Was it the case? Did you want to revenge on someone? Ah uh, no. Ha ni namba yako nyamula chensi mbiku kundwe la chena zivi bati oki okay. sine, sine zozi wati ni zanga la bodybuilder bati Mandu wa kutia niti kwekuja Wanabu wanuza tayo mfana wana body ya mwenshe yon Unga kwa ni nise kukuka kwa mba kushia pasiti peti pasiti 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 Nati oo oh. Haa kansi Ngati ngati ndia so Itiche mwenshe so kuja kujii manabu wanuza tayo uzambo trainer free kuhu so, uzambu cha TNT present any competition mm. Iti onzi uzambu cha present TNT So ndia mwena bwana Nangalira kwe kuja deni up to na manje pano. Oh. Eh. Ok, but mm. ima mbrati vena nguma bodybuilders, wayo fia wantu makombo ni umu. How is it with you? Ah, we are uh, munga ini, ini kumbali kwa anga yae. Eh. Ah, uh, ini kumbali kwa anga yae. <laughs> bodybuilding nchini <laughs> naipanga chata. Ndiyo mwe, mwenisa kile na ndrama. Oh, ok. Eh. Alright. Ndiyo mm, mwenisa kile na ndrama. So let me hear from Pamphrey. Um, like I was saying, I never heard of any Mutendere gym. Not even sure where exactly it is in Mutendere. Tell us more about uh, Mutendere gym. No, Mutendere gym is uh, located uh, between Helen Kaunda and Mutendere. Yes, it, uh, it used to be a backyard gym. Mm -hmm. And uh, just uh, 2022, that's when we moved it from uh, a backyard gym to a big shop where we have a rented place now. Okay. Yes, so we thought of trying to emulate our friends, like like you mentioned earlier on, to say there was Mr. Matero, there was Mr. There's Mr. Kawata, there's mm. Mr. What. Mm. We thought of what what's wrong with us? Why can't we have our own Mr. Hamtender? Mm -hmm. And uh, we decided to come up with a committee, and we 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 we, we formed the the gym, okay. and we and we 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 registered with ZBBF. We are affiliated. That's how we were allowed to to have our own in-house competitions. Right. Yes. How um, many members do you have? We have uh, more than 50 members of the gym, including women. Ah, okay. Yes. So women as well? Yes, they're there. Ah, okay. <laughs> right. And so when was, when was it formed, like officially, when you, you became, when you affiliated to ZBBF? Early 2022. And that's when we even held our first competition. Our okay. first ever Mr. Mtender. Okay. Yes, it was held uh, October, October 2022. How was the response from the community? It was so overwhelming, so overwhelming, especially from our sponsors. It, we, it was great. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And um, who was, was he there by then in 2022? Mm -hmm. He's actually the defending champion because he's the one who won it in 2022 and he has, he has also defended it. In 2023? Yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no competition <laughs> in Mutendere. <laughs> no, there is. There is. There is. Okay. There is. There ah, is. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, um, how many like entries do you have in 2022 and how can you compare it with 2023? 
Well, 2022, it being the maiden uh, competition, mm -hmm. the first ever, we had two categories. We had the junior comp junior Miss Amtendere and the senior Miss Amtendere. Mm -hmm. But uh, for 2023, we decided to have something different, which was the men's physique, where guys would show the, the upper body. They wear shorts and show mm -hmm. the upper body. So we had and that's the men's physique? Then? Yes, that's uh, Eddie Calipenta, the guy that won uh, men's physique. It was ah. actually, it's history made because that's the first ever men's physique championship that was, uh -huh, was okay. won. And yeah. you introduced it this year? We introduced it this year. Ah, yes. okay. Yes. Yes. Nice one. So, yes. for men's physique, what do you follow when judging and all that? Well, normally it's the, the, the upper body and the poses. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, uh, that's why men will wear those shorts. They want to wear the pants like the... the, the <laughs> like the, the bodybuilder. Yes, <laughs> it's actually the upper body and mm -hmm. the posing. Yes, it's more or less like modeling for men. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, I yes. see, I see. Yes. No, that is so, interesting. Yeah, it's actually been introduced uh, because we're having the Z Nationals on the 1st December. Mm -hmm. When I say the Z Nationals, it meaning we're having Mr. Zambia on mm -hmm. the 1st of December. So we are calling on everyone to come through and watch. Yeah. Right. Because if you look at uh, this year's competition, there's even uh, the women are participating there. Mm. Yeah, so they have to come and see their fellow women. We urge everyone to come in numbers. Okay. Which and how was the women's participation for you, Mr. Mtendere? Not yet. We haven't yet introduced women, but oh, we are, we are yet to. Members, yeah, but going, yeah, members. Going forward, we are yet to, to introduce women as well. Oh, okay. Sure. All right. Mm. So how many bodybuilders are you fielding into the Z Nationals? Actually, our top five in the senior category are going to, to, to participate in the Z Nationals. Mm. Yes, as well as our top three in the men's physique category. All right. Yes. How, how hopeful are you that um, your main bodybuilders, so like him, that they'll go and challenge the likes of um, uh, Mr. Matero, Mr. Kawata, Mr. Kanyama, because they'll all be there. No, let's wait and see because my boys are well shocked. <laughs> if I tell you, 2022 last year, it was our maiden, uh, maiden event, meaning it was the first ever. Mm -hmm. But our, um, our boy that came second went there to participate in the junior Mr. Zambia and he came fifth. Oh. Yes, that was Alan Mulenga. Okay. He's the one who even came out second in this uh, 2023 competition. Okay. Yes. Nice. So meaning this year my boys will, will grab it by the by the, <laughs> the neck. Let them okay. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Uh, yeah. Let me come to you, Fred. Um, so, um, it your first bodybuilding championship you have not to participate? Yes, your first. Yes. Ah, okay. Competition number number competition twenty zero nine. So yes, the first competition is Mr. T and T and the mm -hmm. Mr. T and T is a guest poser. Yes, if in the years the first competition young. Mm -hmm. mm, then the second um Tangina comes to your money, still qualify, so she a pita my days mm -hmm. next time about Jenna Dabaja and a qualify and a pita. Okay. In a pita after na pita, my days na genoko na junior Mr. Zambia middleweight in na bana winako na bana chuka second. Okay. Eh, and now we're done. And now we're done. Do you know what I mean? 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 Junior Mr. Zambia. That, that is 2015. Oh, okay. Eh, okay. Eh, mm -hmm. 2015. Eh, kuchoka hapo. Eh, kuchoka hapo. Muzi wa machalenji si ya mlaifi. Mm. So, eh, nabwana nda kusenzi lako kumakupa beo. So, chuka ija time. Nabwana nashita, nashita munga na imini lako kukunya mla nzimbi. And that's you there? Yes. At the 2023 Mr. Mtendere? Yeah, Mr. Mtendere 2023. Ah, nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. where was the venue? It was held at uh, Mika Hotel Kablonga. Ah, yes, it was okay. Mika Hotel Kablonga because they were part of our sponsors. Actually, they've been so overwhelming. Last year, they were our sponsors, and this year, they sponsored us. Mm. Yes. Nice. No, there I can see the muscles there. <laughs> Nicely, well shaped. <laughs> uh, who are the people there? Are you able to identify for us? On, yes. On the photo. Yes. Mm. Uh, um, on the far left, that's uh, Mr. Samson Zulu. Mm. He's a director for Nyawa Media. Mm -hmm. Then there's a country, f uh, next after him, there's country director for Betika. Mm. Yes, then uh, the champion himself, there's yeah. our gym secretary, the one seated in our studio, Mr. Akim Sakala. Oh, okay. Yes, right. then that one is Batwa, it, it was one of the participants for men's physique. physique. He came out uh, fifth, actually. 
Okay. Yes, yes. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Fred, Kuina for second year running, what did it mean to you? What did it mean to you winning this, this trophy for the second time? Yeah, I remember the I remember the first time. I remember the first the first time. I remember 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 the first time. I because ah. I have a commitment to training. So, tr training in the branch. I remember that I was a bodybuilder. Bodybuilding actually mm. is very expensive. Tingenes and drama. How is it with you? Yeah, I was a drama. 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 I so we mangala kunge na chini and the series ni ni ya sports chini yao dola mani ingi chini kambi so body building. Okay. Mm. So unakuwa ni sabo angi kuchita defend the com uh, com uh, I mean uh, title ya uh, Mr Mtendere. Uh, competition ni nze bwanji? Competition. Mm. Ah uh, competition ni na no, okay munga ni kuli ni sini zoeo na kukosa ndi kai chini sini zoeo ni la kukosa ndi na mduwa kudala mu competition. Mm. That's why he's sitting there on the course. Okay. Mm. All right. So ni mavuna chini ulung ya fika ulma days ya kumpichi ni kai na manzo ta kumpichi ni mafunga kuikala kunzi days kuikala kunzi the training. Okay. Mm. All right. Um. So kaya um that ya ni man kala buanji like on a day to day basis. Let's say lelo Monday yenze buanji. What did you eat today? We amba che kusene after muau. After she talka, ah, um, 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 after that, na panga ko my eggs, my chant, my eggs, five eggs, five eggs, five eggs. Wow, wow, five wow. eggs. Hmm, na nizo wana yes. Na pina mo tino ang odeni, masawa sawa pa ja upumula ako, wambira ako kanjara, wama wa time yeh, time yeh nda. Ah, so she talka mayro. So ah. Uh, apa semua semua dia nama ninggi nasi masih na invera invera cem my ex anzi my ex pun kau dia wan anzi my ex mam eh monga pagi dia apa so apa madzi anzi monga bukan bat janda aku kompensi ni ini kau pawan monga ayah nama madzi anzi saya maaf nengah aku tinggal na anzi mama ninggi anzi masih in show je si funi kan si oh I see so I once hosted the Sylvester when I was saying hmm actually Eggs, like in a day, maybe you'd even finish one tray of eggs. <laughs> <laughs> one tray, yeah. <laughs> is it mm. true? How is it mm. with you? Ah, it's true. Like a tray, I'm a eggs, I'm a eggs, I'm a eggs, I'm a eggs. Ah, I'm a three days. Three days, three days. Three, mm. three mm, is a one tray, three days. Nelo gi mozi ni two quarts, three quarts. Ah, it's expensive, so. Yeah, yeah. Body building expensive money chain. Mm. Okay, mm. so um, uh, your name will be submitted to compete to Mr. Zambia. How are you mm. gauging yourself? What are your chances, Mr. Zambia? Ripa one. Ah, my chances is young. I'm going to move on. Be that you could, you could, you could, you could. My category is David. So ah, uh, number young. New on a friend here. So I'm going to not main category. Junior. Junior. Yes. Yes. Junior. You can't junior. contest for the senior one. Ah, no, I can't contest. I can't do it. No, so I can't do it. No, so I can't do it. Hey, when it's best time with that. Tinga China, when no, so I can't do it. Sometimes he was at BBA, Vama, Bura, Chiba, Kamba, Chata. Okay. This is Panga one category. You know, Kai, Panga one category. Kuli Beve, Onga, Chit, and this one, Gina, Kudala, Mo. Hey. So, this is Afrika, man. Okay. But he's a level. Kwa ijawene suvesta wene neoso ni muna Fika apolo kapena kwa sala pango Ija munga ijalevo ijawene ni chaote wene neoso ni na uo wene suvesta Ija ya ija nika biku fika po maningi ija Biko zikuli ija time ija ija yenezi mpawa munga maizi ya kumbuyo Nizo kwa niza kuchoka ulo ya manager group ya baja before wene chaote Nizo kwa niza kungena mgrupe ya wene mwira ulo kuchoka namba 7, 8 
muri sinya sinya mr zambia is this one zaku choka seven eight ayo mwana mba ye vinezo kwa linsa kungena ulimu wani katigori paka msini ya mwe vinza pezi mza funi kache mpezeke ni pezeke mu hmmm but what happened well like you explained he had moved to the copa bell no so when he went to the copa bell he stopped he stopped yes he was actually working that side for three years or four years so he was okay yeah he was working that side so he so with the way the body is even if you are big once you stop training you stop eating the proper diet then you go down shape, well, yes <laughs> ah, i see i yeah. see i see it because it, uh, yeah. the time you started around 2009 2010 mm. i think that's when sylvester was coming up sylvester became mm. mr zambia no, in 2010 yeah, 20, 20, 20, mm. Mm. so i wanted to say where have you been why haven't you reached that level yeah. already yeah, yeah it's this one. ah mm. i see i see <laughs> Okay, so um, for you, Pamphrey, um, what are the plans for Mutendere Gym? Well, we, 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 we plan to grow. Like we said, we also want to introduce the women's uh, category and we, we just want to urge our sponsors to continue coming on board so that we keep our youths active. Yes, we, we, we want to grow. Okay. Yes, yeah. And so. um, uh, maybe grow also the venue and uh, exactly, and exactly, because we also want to give we also want to give thanks to to the new Don government because like yesterday, uh, like the, the last year's competition, they really helped us uh, through the Ministry of Sport, Youth and Child Development. They 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 sponsor they they gave us sponsorship, which is a good thing for for a ministry to give sponsorship to to a domestic uh, event. We are so grateful. Okay. Yes, we also want to appreciate all our sponsors, uh, Betika, Mika Hotel, um, there's um, Supplement World, Big Tree. Big Tree has always been there for most of the, mm -hmm. the competitions. There's Laka mm -hmm. FM. A lot of uh, sponsors mm -hmm. came on board and we would like to appreciate them and urge them to continue supporting the, okay. the sport. How much equipment do you have at the gym? And is it friendly for everyone, well, women <laughs> and the young? It is. Yeah. It been a new gym. We mm -hmm. don't have the the the, the state of art equipment, but we 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 have the makeshift equipment. We we they're okay. okay. They're okay for All them right. to produce such guys. All right. Though we really need a lot of equipment because um like uh, during our competition. Um, the, our area member of uh, parliament, or our, our area councillor, made a pronouncement to say they will give us um, CDF of about 40,000 per share. That's what oh, we are still great. pushing, yes. And we'll definitely look at uh, growing our gym and uh, get more equipment. And okay. Exactly. All right. Yes. Uh, Fred, how much do you, where do you want to reach in your bodybuilding career? Apo mkafika nisi na machita na retire, where do you want to reach? Hmm. A retire is a good thing, dad. Where do you want to retire? Body visiting. Eh. Ha, good thing. But okay, mfuna wafika part, pa uti apo mkafika. And si mwankala at least konde. Hmm. Ndiye voyeja hila Mr. Zambia chi. Hmm. Mr. Zambia dini na kwa mpoku nda kukumaka ni tresi minangu. Okay. Hmm. So mgani za pangapite maezi ya ngati kuti mfike palevo hiyo ya mfuna? Yeah, Mr. Zambi. Mm. Two years. Two years. Yes. Ah, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Kuli wafu nsati wa... Palana kona rough kid. Alright. So, um, I want to do a, a small challenge. I know you are good with your with your, your arms. I mean, your, your body muscles and all that. I want you to try ball juggling. So, there is the ball. I want you to pick up the ball. And yeah. you juggle the ball with your feet without dropping. So, Tilangi is any ball. So, I'm not going to ball, like that. You said, I'm going to ball. Let's see. That's uh, okay. Fred Piri, Mr. Mutendere, okay. trying to show us how to juggle the ball. And the time starts now. Three, two, one. Okay. 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 Okay, you've tried. I can take up the challenge. Let me take up the challenge. He wants to take up the challenge as well. That's Pamphrey. Pamphrey Ngoma. He is, okay, you can just put it in the pocket. He is the chairperson for Mutendere Gym. And the time starts now. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. <laughs> so six, but at least you are doing it with star. <laughs> nice one. But anyway, with one minute to go, I want to see who is the strongest between the two of you. <laughs> who is the strongest? You can <laughs> you can come here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. so you rest here. I want you to do arm wrestling. Arm wrestling. Do arm wrestling. Yes. Yes. Who is the strongest <laughs> between Mr. Mtendele yeah, and the chairman? Yeah, and time starts now. When I say one, two, three, go, mm. that's when you go. One, two, three, go. <sighs> Is it the chair person or is it Mr. Mtendel? <laughs> ah. <laughs> I think you should come back. <laughs> come we back in what you come back. <laughs> <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, I was hosting Mr. Mtendele, Fred Piri, uh, who wants to challenge Mr. Zambia Jr. and also the chair person, Pamfrey Ngoma. So until next week, at the same time, join us. But oh, the answer is yes indeed it is uh, Debbie Makinka so our caller I'll send you 20 watcher talk time from my own pocket thank you very much for watching for, 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 for the <laughs> goodbye <laughs>